Alright guys, this is going to be an interesting one. Another question from the second chapter of the Mechanics of Materials by Beer and Johnson. And this one, we know that the both portion of the rod ABC are made of aluminum, which has the elastic modulus of 70 gigapascal. We know that the magnitude of the force P, which is applying at point A, is 4 kilonewtons. And we need to determine the value of the Q, or the force that is applying at point B so that the deflection at A is zero, and in the B part, we need to find the corresponding deflection at point B. So for having the zero deflection, basically the deflection of AB has to be equal to deflection of BC. So obviously AB will be in tension, so it will be elongated. So based on the elongation of AB, if we want to find that, we know this will be equal to P, LAB divided by area of the AB times elastic modulus. So the force P we know is 4 kilonewton or 4 times 10 to the 3 newtons. The length we know is 0.4 meter. And for finding the area, we have pi over 4 times the diameter. Diameter is also 20 millimeters, so divided by 1000, 0.0. .0. 2 squared times the elastic modulus, which is 70 gigapascal, so 70 times 10 to the 9, and this should give us the deflection at A. Let's calculate this. So 4,000 times 0.4 divided by pi divided by 4 times 70 times 10 to the minus 9, uh, sorry, 9. So this is going to be uh, basically 72.4. 76 times 10 to the minus 6 meters, so we'll have the deflection from AB. So we also have to figure out the force that we're going to have on member BC. So for finding that force, just to avoid any confusion, we're just going to do a section in here, and we're going to have something like this. This is going to be our section. We have the force P, and this will be our Q. And let's figure out the force that we have for member BC, I'm just going to show it maybe with FBC. Since we are in equilibrium for finding the FBC, we can do sum of all forces in Y equals zero. Very simple. So we're going to have FBC plus P minus Q is equal to zero. So the FBC that or the force that we have in member BC is basically Q minus. So now that we have this force, uh, since the AB is intention so it will be elongated so the other one has to be shortened so this time we're going to go based on the shortening of bc so this one will be equal to the force q minus p times the area uh, times the length of bc let's get back see what the length is so it's 0.5 meters so times 0.5 divided by the area pi over 4 this time the diameter is 60 millimeters, so divide by 1000, 0 0.06 squared. That's going to give us the area, and we have the same elastic modulus, which was 70 gigapascal, so 70 times 10 to the 9. So from here we can find Q minus P. Let's see what we get. So I'm just going to put in here. And obviously this will be equal to what we found in the previous part so as i mentioned in order to have the zero deflection at a these two has to be equal to each other so this is actually equal to 72.76 times 10 to the minus 6 meter again so if you want to find the q in here or q minus p all right let's calculate this 72.76 times 10 to the minus 6 times 0.6 squared times 70 times pi divided by 4 and we're going to have 10 to the 9 as well so we just have to divide this by 0.5 and this is going to give us 28.80 times 10 to the 3 newtons so our q would be basically p which was 4 kilonewtons so we just have to add 4 plus 28.80, which is going to be 32.8 kilonewton. Again, we had the 40 kilonewton, so that's why I didn't do the 1,000 in here. And that's what we have for the Q. Uh, this is kilonewton.
32.8 and this is the A part of the question and the B part the question is asking us to find the corresponding deflection of B which as I said they're all the same deflection of AB is equal to deflection of CD which was 72.76 times 10 to the minus 6 meter and this is going to be the answer for the B part of the question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.